Welcome back to Root Double. We last left off. We're continuing the search for terrorists. Same hat, Sally, but. May as well do it. There's a very strong chance it will end us. It will get us in trouble, but. She's so selfish, Natsuko thought with a wry smile. But we can try and do it in a way that. We just get enough evidence to get the police interested, but. どうしようかな。まず気になるのは学校の爆弾騒ぎが出まだったってこと。これって妙じゃない。そうなると他の事件の実情も気になってくるよ。他の事件。ほら、近頃町を騒がしている火事とか怪文書騒ぎとか。
ネットはあまりやらないものですから後で詳しく教えるよところでトレーナーさんその後の Q の動きはさあねでも Q の連中がこんなしょぼい施設狙うとは思えねえしただの語りかもしれないよ But he spoke about Q, made them seem like some giant sort of organization. As Natsuko fell into confused silence, the trainer continued. With that, the trainer entered the building. Leaving Natsuko and Sally to quickly ask Mashiro the pressing question. De, Mashiro, what is it? So, Q. Dokke? Eto, ne? Q. Dokke? Mashiro made a meek face as she explained the organization to Natsuko and Sally. Communicator no son zai ni yo to nail. Kokunai sai dai no kageki hadan tai dai. So, no katsudo wa baku hayo koku ya kyo haku. Bawai ni otewa. 直接行動もためらわない危険な集団らしいのそんな奴らがいるのか He obviously knew of the existence of anti-BC protest groups and ideology But he had never heard of an organization that operated at a, danger, at a level dangerous enough to be called extremists and terrorists あ,あ無理ないか調べなきゃ出てこない名前だしでも確かに存在するのね私がバスの中で聞いたのが Q のメンバーの声なら納得だよこの街の歴史を終わらせるなんてそんな危ない思想を持ってるのは Q くらいだもんそうは言うけどさ具体的に破壊活動を行ったことはあるのかあるよっていうか夏彦もその痕跡は目の当たりにしているはずだよえちょっと遠いけど行ってみようか。ナチコパンダが質問する1分後に答えチルズは頭の上を歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マシュドがナチコとサリーを歩いて、マ旧六名私立病院跡さっき言ってた旧の破壊活動の痕跡だよ。Well. Oh, just, what? This was a place that Natsuko certainly did remember. When he was young, he had come here with Yuri and Mashiro on a dare. Oh, we did see if. I vaguely remember a flashback at a place like this. Mashiro took one look around the burned vestiges before answering. だけど十六年前のある夜ここに火が放たれたこの時放火したのが Q のメンバーだと言われてるんだ連中が起こした最初の事件だよ犯人は捕まったのうんここを焼いた犯人はねここを焼いた犯人は犯人は一人じゃなかったのその夜この死の十数箇所で同時に放火があったんだよ。Damn. 犯人が全員捕まえられたのかどうかはよくわかってない。六名死同時多発放火事件。この事件はそう呼ばれてる。六名死同時多発火災か。ナチコ faintly remembered hearing about that incident before. Fortunately, all he remembered was that such a thing had happened. There were so many victims in that incident, it was not an easy subject to broach. Furthermore, Natsuko never considered actively attempting to research it. But 
ネットの受け売りだけど Q はその時期に結成された組織みたいこの町は当時からコミュニケーターが多かったからそれで標的にされたんだろうねその頃から Q とやらはそんな妙な組織名を名乗ってたのかうん Q と名乗り始める前の組織名は反 BC 連盟反 BC 連盟のメンバーは同時多発火災の犯人として逮捕されたけどそうして投獄されたメンバーが出所してから Q という組織名を名乗り始めたらしいんだよその理由や組織名の由来まではわからないけどねそうなのか昔の組織名の方がテロリストらしいって感じがするけどな Going underground, trying to go more anonymous. So, any stem of my three brand that way. Could I know Kasaika at two Rokune Motatelunni? Kono Tatemono got Toriko Asarena, do you? They could be a front, they could be a group, online group that presents a front of more online community, the peddling stuff that's outside of the normal. And then at their core, they're just deeply conspiratorial and terroristic. 多分誰かがそう望んだんだよ。事件が風化することを望まない誰かが。Which is a very fitting、uh, letter to use when compared to a certain、uh, conspiratorial and terroristic groups in the out there now, like the QAnon. I looked around. Sure enough, the place seemed like, looked like a scene frozen in time. I'd probably been left alone as is for sixteen years. Yet the incident gradually faded away from the public's mind, and likely nobody ever visited any more. Bill Gates caused BC. So, no, no, Cuba. Communicator, no, 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 12年前のサルベツシー BC 研究所爆破事件11年前の七星大超心理学科放火事件9年前の牛追い市民ホール立てこもり事件7年前の円空市炭素菌散布事件6年前の小金浜浄水場ヒ素混入事件それ全部 Q の仕業なのかいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろいろ聞いたことくらいあっても良さそうだけど。過激派の名前なんて知らなくて普通だよ。日本には昔からいろんな過激派組織があるけど、その組織名なんて一つも知らないでしょ。いや、Q は特別だろう。僕らに無関係ってわけじゃないんだし、この町の住人にとっては重要じゃないか。マシュラ made a complicated expression as Natsuhiko said this。だからこそだよ。Q が絡む事件についてはこの町じゃあまり報道されないんだってどうして深刻な社会不安を起こさないためってのがその理由みたい Q はいつでもコミュニケーターを狙って破壊活動をするその事実が大々的に報道されたらこの町にたくさんいるコミュニケーターたちはどう思う Would obviously cause a state of panic Could very well strain tensions between communicators and ordinary people. I just had to marry the Tokika communicator of Hogos at a day to Konomachini Sunday and the Kinitomina Katakido. Demo, so they got no cheeky deva, Q no Kugioa, Arino Mamani Hodo Sarate Rashino. Communicator to Ipanjin, that's the Kittenomo, Imadani Nezioka Arimita. Again, we're in the case of、uh, where. 
living under a very tightly, in a very tightly regulated state here in Rokume City. And that in itself is one of the things clouding Natsuhiko's opinions. That last statement jogged Natsuhiko's memory. Ten years ago, when Yuri moved, to, moved into Rokume City, he had asked her why she had moved at the time. She said it was because they measured my BC's attitude and found out it was rank C. Natsuhiko had thought she simply meant that she, they had moved to Rokume City because of its tax and education benefits for the communicators, but... That wasn't it. it. Might not have been. Was she persecuted in another town or felt threatened by acts of terrorism and that's why they escaped to Rokume City? Well, if we remember the Beauty's parents fighting, they got a sizable chunk of money as well. Which may have been a bonus. They may have caught some shit for their daughter being a communicator. Even as recently as ten years ago, understanding of communicators was still insufficient. So it wasn't any stretch of the imagination to believe that Yuri's family did indeed seek refuge in Rokume. I can't believe that's what the outside world is like. Even though Natsuhiko had only heard half of the story, Mashula's sense of impending danger was gradually getting through to him. In addition to his fear, he felt doubt about something else. But... この Marshall had no answer. Natsuko looked around the burned ruins and spoke. No, I don't do this now. I mean, at least we could visit the uh, place where the buildings burned down, supposedly. We just got her back, don't we? Natsuko hesitated for a second. ナチコ Marshall spoke in a strong tone of voice. Her obstinacy seemed suspicious to Natsuhiko. あのさ、マシロ。テロが起こるって信じるに足る理由が他にあるのか。うん。マシロ。マシロ。気にかかることがあったら話してくれよ。何もないってば。そんなわけないだろう。何か言えない理由があるのか。マシロ。Some Masiro, 
Marshall gasped and looked at Salio. Good point. None of us heard it. Contrary to her words, Mashita was clearly caught off guard by the question. It wasn't, that she, it wasn't that she seemed surprised to hear completely unexpected words. It was more like Salyu had hit the nail on the head. Even though Mashita's ability was supposedly limited to telepathy only. Discovered empathy accidentally, like we discovered telepathy accidentally? Mushla fell silent for a little while. Eventually, she muttered in resignation. Natsuko's mind drew a blank at the unexpected time frame. A trembling voice spilled out of his mouth. Now that her secret was out, Mashita voluntarily spoke about the next topic. バスの中で二人とおしゃべりしてたよね。ああ。するとその途中でバスの前の方に立っていた人がこっちを振り返ったんだ。そしてしばらく私たちをじっと見ていた。私は気づかなかった。でもどうして？わからないよ。サングラス
確かにそうすればこんなに混乱することもなかった言えるわけないじゃんだって夏彦エンパシー怖がってたでしょうん BC のせいで友達に嫌われるのはもう嫌だもん Average bench did not take or did remember the conversation they had a few days ago. Empathy got skyed Yatsga, Sobani Irkamo Shirena it the Jokyoa, Kanga to Miraba, Kuayona. Natsikomo, Kokoro, Yamanero, no, so little Kuchinanda, eh? So ya ma Hekina Hitomo Irkamo Shirena Kedo, Boka Yapari, Kuayo. Ah, so you got to that. Natsuko finally realized just how oblivious he'd been. Masha was probably trying all this time just to tell Natsuko she could use empathy. She was afraid of how he would react, so she had kept it a secret locked up in her heart. Natsuko and Mashita apologized to each other. It was quite a surprising development. Natsuko somehow managed to come to terms with the truth. After all, since they both had similar experiences, he understood Mashita's feelings painfully well. But Salyu, on the other hand, calmly piled up more questions onto, onto Mashita. Mashita, when you were told to the police, what did you tell the police? だいぶ悩んだんだけど、正直に伝えたんだ。エンパシーで心の声を聞いたって。でも信じてもらえなかった。テロリストが他人に心を開くとは思いません。だけど、保安課に通報した時も同じだった。確かにそれが正論だけど
I do believe that Sal, that uh, Mashlo is not blowing this out of proportion. But there is something going on. So, how do we do this? Wait, Mashlo. First, we need to check the ability of the other. Is your ability really the same as your ability? In my case, my ability is. 効果範囲500メートル程度のテレパシーと効果範囲10メートル程度のエンパシーだよ能力レベルは認定されてないけど合相当かなえインプレッシブナツィギは surprised by that answer Billy level 5 meant you were among the highest of the elites among all currently recognized communicators You could freely use empathy on a target at a distance You were classified as Ability level 5. There are said to be no more than 50 communicators of that level in all of Japan. Seriously? Mashiro had mixed feelings, but she was mostly embarrassed. わからないでね。これは信じてほしいんだけど、勝手に他人の心を覗き込んだりは絶対しないようにしてるの。テロリストの心を読んだのは、サリの身を案じてやった悪魔で例外で。もちろん、夏彦たちの心を読んだりもし
Several institutions other than the BC Training Center had received objectionable literature. They didn't learn anything more than what the trainer had told them, but... After they had made their fifth inquiry, the three of them stopped for a moment's discussion. Yes. Natsiko nodded. Several facilities, each relating somehow to BC, had received objectionable literature. And all the objectionable literature was apparently signed Q. The receiving parties each had different reactions to the literature, but all of it was rounded up by the police or the sick city security department. Might be a coincidence, but beginning with the city's largest research facility, BC Development Center, three such facilities have suffered from fires. The objectionable literature and the bomb threat at school did indeed seem to be no more than the criminals taking delight in getting a rise out of people. Then Marshall spoke up as if she had remembered something. こうして爆破されたうん。それで警察や消防がその放火現場に出払っている隙に本当のターゲットを爆破したってわけ。それってつまり、陽動ってことか。Could be. Natsuko gasped. True, if he caused panic everywhere around the city, the police and security department would have no choice but to spread their attention thin. Just collecting all the objectionable literature and tracking down its point of origin would require allocating a good amount of personnel. The three of them thought for a second before speaking up all at once. It was a large BC research facility in town and they had visited it on a field trip just a few days ago. If Q was after BC research facilities, there would be no bigger target. And with that, three of them dashed off. Back to the research center. For now, they took the bus and got off in front of the parapsychology research center. In spite of their misgivings, the area was quite peaceful. Marshall stepped up to the building and tried to go inside, but... あれ、鍵がかかってる。普段は一般開放はされてないの。そうみたい。日を改める。いや、せっかく来たんだ。誰か職員の人を探そう。これだけ大きい施設なんだから、誰かいるだろう。せめて話を聞きたいね。あるい
Couldn't go wrong in the slightest. Okay. Saw you said that word again. There's no way there was no way he could expect such a small girl to protect him. If anything happens, I should be the one to protect Sally, we're not the other way around. Oh, you don't know. With that thought, Nazi could trespass into the building from the back entrance alongside the girls. Just, uh, thank you for making that clear. As they passed through the corridor, they quickly came upon a wide room. It was the same office-like space they had visited during the field trip. The room was quiet. Rather. Something seemed odd about that suggestion. This was a facility that published many research results the year round. The three of them nervously walked around the facility. However, no matter how much they searched, they found neither hide nor hair of a single person. Well, that's fucking eerie. For the time being, they returned to the first room and spoke amongst themselves. Sally nodded and muttered softly. Striking lack of research equipment. That is an interesting point. She did make a good point. There were several office-like rooms, but there were, there were next to no actual experimental devices to be seen. What do they do here? そういえば、物置とか空き部屋が多かった気がするな。鍵がかかってる部屋はたくさんあったよね。あれが実験室とかなのかな。いや、ことによると。Just as Sally said that, suddenly heard a noise from outside the room. <laughs> oh no! Every hair on Natsiko's body stood on end. He looked to see, he looked to see a brawny man entering the room from the window. From the window. That would suggest that he was a security guard for the, for the facility. He seemed to have spotted the kids from out, from the outside while he was patrolling around and shouted out to them. Natsuko was somewhat relieved and spoke to the security guard. Security guard stiffened at that word. It's doubtful that the security guard would believe Natsuko even if he told the truth. Natsuko thought for a second before answering. そんな噂を友達から聞いたんです。そうです。近頃この町では、テロリストが送った怪文書が飛び交っていて、どうも、BC関連施設が狙われているらしいんですよ。それで、ここも危ないかと思って。そうか。なるほど。では、ちょっと
As soon as he heard that, Natsuko became suspicious. What? The three of them were well-intentioned whistleblowers. And yet the security guard was training his discerning eye on Natsuhiko. It's like he's looking at a culprit. Taken aback, Natsuhiko shook his hand out of the security guard's grip. The security guard drew even closer to Natsuhiko. Oh, the security guard shouted. Natsuko stood between him and the girls, but then... Sally spoke up. Perhaps the first time they heard anger mixed in with her calm voice. The time the security guard spoke, Sally had already sprung into action. She rushed over to him and grabbed his hand. As if, and as if it's an elegant dance, she wrapped herself behind him, and then... <laughs> security guard's large body flew through the air. <laughs> For a second, Mush, though, and Natsuko could not comprehend what had just happened. The security guard had struck the floor and passed out, white showing in his rolled-back eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. Natsuko was speechless. Such a small girl hold a, hurl a grown man like that. Salyu not only excelled in wisdom and physical ability, but she was also well versed in the martial arts, apparently. カットなって。もうちょっとやりようとかあったんじゃないのか。うん。不愉快。夏彦を守ったのに、なぜ怒られるの？え、そうだよ。さゆだって夏彦のためにやったのに。いや、その気持ちは嬉しいけどさ。But now are are we in trouble or is he a bad guy? Natsuko looked down at the security guard, sprawled out, sprawled out at his feet. <laughs> this <laughs> Spurred on by Natsuko's confusion, Salyu spewed a steady stream of words. Is it really unlawful infringement if we committed trespassing first? Oh. I guess it is. But they didn't have any time to discuss law here. All things considered, they technically conveyed the possibility of terrorism here, so they probably fulfilled all at least the minimum of their civic duty. Hopefully they use this little scuffle here as a reason to increase security and everything will turn out alright in the end. With that, they left the room. Broke off into a mad dash as they got outside. Once they got all the way back to the faraway residential area, they finally took a breather. <sighs> Sally spoke without breaking a sweat. 
You didn't just train her muscle strength and martial arts technique, but her lung capacity too, apparently. <sighs> Masha tottered over to a nearby vending machine. For a while, she came back carrying three bottles in her arms. Natsuko took a gulp despite its complaints. With their thirst quenched, they got to the main matter of discussion. それは私も感じたよ。警戒を強めてるって言ったって、あんなに態度悪くなるもんかな。この市の警備員というものは、みんなあんなに高圧的なの。うん。いや、そんなわけはないと思うけど、何か理由があるのかな。あるいは、それ
Natsuko and Saru stood in the kitchen and stared, started off just lining up the ingredients. Hikori, Saru-chan, I think that's just a cooking cliche, but okay. まあ、半人前同士でも合わせれば1人前になるさ。料理は科学の実験と一緒。分量と時間さえ間違わなければ美味しくなるはず。And with that wishful thinking, they began to chop up the ingredients. The two cooking novices stumbled even at that very first step. Saru, with that answer, Sally grabbed the kitchen soap. Oh no! Despite their essential partnership, they were unable to communicate properly. This could not possibly get any worse. So we moved on to make the side dishes, even more problems sprang up. Oh no. Sally answered like so, and then tossed a bowl full of water into the pot. Jesus. Ah,ダメだって, even though they cooked while checking the recipe via PDA, the flavor mysteriously managed to betray expectations. Readjusting added another layer of difficulty. For nearly another hour of grappling with the ingredients. Oh boy. They finished cooking. Somehow or another. He brought the miso soup and the meat and vegetable stir fry to the table in two separate dishes. Marshall spoke happily as she sat in front of the dishes. Let's see. With that, they reached out to the dishes in front of them. But soon enough, Sally spoke sadly. Shocked, Natsuko rushed to spoon himself a mouthful of, di of miso soup. It tasted as good as any run of the mill miso. That need to be hard on yourself. That's an impossibly high bar to clear. いや、それを言い出したら僕の肉野菜炒めもそうだぜ。普段いかに美味しいものを食べていたのかと思い知らされたよ。僕も全く未熟だ。いや、それを言ったら私の方が未熟。いやいや、僕の方が。Two of them kept trying to out humble each other. Marshall giggled at their little exchange. Yuri smiled as she watched the three of them converse. Cooking was plain and simple, but before they had realized it, the usual warmth around the dinner table had returned. But then, to shatter their calm mood, the sound of the intercom rang out. Very rarely did anybody visit this house at night. Natsuko felt suspicious as he entered the answered the intercom on the wall. Hi, Donata Deska. Matsuko felt a little uneasy, so for now he answered dishonestly. あの、どちら様でしょうか? 
私は六名士保安課の竹橋と申します。保安課ナツヒコは suspicious。Why would the security department give this house a visit? 保安課の方がナツヒコさんにどのようなご用件でしょうかそれは何かの間違いです。I mean... Okay, yeah, he, he didn't try to drive them out. They got that part wrong. I can understand their suspicions. Security department member used polite words, but his tone sounded relentless. はい。Come with us. Natsuko understood full well what that phrase implied. The security department member didn't come here simply to ask for his side of the story. If that were the case, they could do it here and now. The fact that he went out of his way to come here at night meant he came to take us into custody. Confused at the sudden turn of events, Natsuko decided to buy time for now. Just wait a minute. Natsuko さんに連絡してみます。あの人はいつも帰りが遅いので、今日はお引き取りください。ああ、ご協力感謝します。マチコハナ hung up the intercom and turned back to the girls, on which they all looked back at back to him in worry. ひひこり、何かあったの？いや、保安課の人が僕たちを補導しに来たらしい。Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think all we got for today is register gold. Energy drink developed by Beetlejuice New Treatments, classified as a medical supply. Its catchphrase is a healthy revival. Perhaps as a way to compete with the existing popular energy drink that holds the majority market share, register gold has the special ingredient of, with the, oh my god. Hundred million milligrams of taurine for nourishment and eliminating fatigue, thus successfully gaining it a core fan base of repeat customers. It's a、uh... <laughs> 100 million milligrams is fucking 100 kilogra kilograms. 100 kilograms. That seems excessive. Uh, 100 million milligrams of taurine for nourishment and limiting fatigue, thus successfully getting in a core fan base of repeat customers. 
Victorian is all about homeostasis. Homeostasis is the function of bodies and cells to maintain normalcy, and thus taurine is a very important nutrient in mammalian development. While 100 million may be ex excessive, any excess taurine is safely excreted out of the body through the urine, and is thus harmless to the body. Furthermore, this excess is what generated its core fan base, even leading to the formation of registered gold communities. Though the product is sold nationwide, places like Tokyo and Sa Sakura no Mori make up for 70 to 80 percent of national consumption. Yikes. That's terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, we're about to go to jail. What's with that scene title, too? Find out next video, then. Okay, we, we are in the business now.